it's me again Alicia and of course I'm back with another Amazon Prime wig y'all gonna get sick of me but anyways guys I found this newer company it's called Silk and they have the most cutest kinky curly lace front wig I think I've had so far I mean look at these curls they're super tight I really wanted something that actually resembled my hair because you know with the whole COVID and now it's summer it's hot I just want to put my natural hair away and protect it and find something that actually looks close to my hair and I think I found it this unit is 100% human hair. It is 14 inches long. The inside is 13 by six. So it's gonna go 13 ear to ear, six inches back. It is a glueless, so you don't have to glue it down if you don't want to. You can actually use those interior combs and adjustable straps to keep it on. Okay, so the hair is good as it comes. You guys don't have to do anything to it. However, you guys know me. I like to go ahead and bleach the knots. So I'm taking my, D my BW2 and my 30 volume developer and I've made like a frosting like consistency concoction and now I'm going to apply it to the inside of the lace. I allowed it to sit on there for about 20 minutes, but I don't like quoting times because depending on the humidity in your home, it could lift quicker or slower, you know. So you just wanna keep checking it until it looks like this. Um, I could have definitely let it sit on a little longer, but I chose this because, you know, when we're dealing with hair from Amazon, you wanna be careful because you don't wanna, you know, overdo it. So a 30 volume, 20 minutes is good for me. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply my Shimmering Lights Purple Shampoo to make sure that those knots don't look brassy and shiny. We want it to look natural, okay? So I allowed that to sit on for about 30 minutes. And now I'm just going to go ahead and rinse that off with the coldest water possible to get all of that bleach out of the hair. And now I'm using my silicone mix hair treatment. This is where the magic happens this and the use of a felicia leather leather head leather spoon i forgot the name or a denman this is how you get those curls i have a lot of people saying their curls don't look like mine those two things is what's going to get those curls popping so definitely invest in it and if you've actually used it Leave your experience down below so that people who haven't can know if it's worth getting or trying. So yeah, I love it. I recommend it, okay? So the hairline looks naturally good. You don't have to tweeze your hairline. I have a lot of people say, that's too much work. Where can I find a wig where I don't have to do that? You don't have to do this. I'm just extra. I'm the, the YouTuber who does too much. That's unnecessary. That's me. <laughs> and so I tweeze all of my wigs, but you don't have to do it. You can actually go ahead and style it as is, but I like to thin mines out just a little. So I have like those, you know, that thinness that looks like my natural hairline because my natural hairline isn't perfect. And so I kind of want my wigs to look the same. So that's what I did. The baby hairs are completely optional. Most people don't care for it nowadays. I understand but I like to do it to hide the lace because I don't melt my wigs down, all right? <laughs> so anyways, I went ahead and I used my Mazzani leave-in conditioner, some water, and a little mousse with my Dimmin brush to get those curls popping, and there you have it. Those things will make the curls on this wig look so juicy and so scrumptious, okay? So definitely, um, if you have those products, use it on your hair. If you don't, make sure to go to Amazon or pick it up when you get your hair because without it, your hair will not look like mine's, okay? <laughs> but anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get that lace off. And there I am, hey guys. <laughs> So this is how the hair dried. As you guys can see, those curls are popping. It looks like a fresh wash and go. Oh my gosh, I went ahead and I sewed on an elastic band on the inside because I have a little head. This wig is big head friendly. So if you have a lot of hair or you have a larger head, you should be good, but um, my head is small. So I went ahead and sewed on an elastic band. Pretty simple. If you look it up on YouTube, you can find plenty of tutorials on how to do that. Now I'm just going to take my Extreme Hold Gel, I'm just going to fix up those baby hairs a little bit. I kind of decided that I wanted to tone it down 
just a little bit, you know, because they were looking a little wild. <laughs> so I was like, all right, Alicia, let's tone it down. So I'm going to use my edge brush and that gel and just gently sweep it, just, you know, molding it to my head and creating some depth. I'm also going to take a little bit of foundation powder and apply it into the part. And there you have it. Okay. So this hair is flat based off of how I washed it. So once you go and manipulate this hair, it's going to get big. It's going to be get curly and it's going to look super natural, guys, just like the way your natural hair reacts. All right. So if you allow this hair to dry upside down and not on a mannequin head, you won't get that flat look on top. Um, I kept mine on the mannequin head, but I did you know, learn a trick in the past. If you let it like dry upside down, the gravity will actually make those curls like shrink up. And so it'll be more curly on top than the way my hair looks where it's flat. So try that out if you don't like this look. But look at these curls. Again, you guys, this is their 14 inch. This is where it falls on me. I do consider myself to have a normal length neck. Maybe it's a little bit on the longer side, but I am tall. I'm five foot eight and I have kind of like a normal size torso. So this is where the hair falls. And the density on this one, I believe I want to say it's 150. If I'm mistaken, I will link it down below for you guys to see. This hair is absolutely stunning. I haven't gotten any shedding or tangling out of the norm, but oh my God, y'all. Be sure to check out this unit again, Silk on Amazon Prime. Let me know what you guys think of this one. I will catch you guys later. Bye guys.